Hey, what's up Big Red Hunter Nation? I hope we're having a great day today. Uh, today I wanted to talk about uh, three types of calls. Um, but before we get there, uh, if you haven't checked out how to choose a perfect duck call, because you'll need one today, and then the quack, because you'll need to learn the quack. So quack is essential what we're going to do today. Uh, basically we're putting quacks, and then putting quacks together to make a greeting call and a comeback call. Then we're going to talk about the feeder call. So to get started, a greeting call is basically, hey guys, we're having a good time, come hang out with us. You know, quack's more more like a hello, a greeting's more like, hey, come hang out with us. Uh, so I'm going to try to give you an idea of what that is, uh, it's like today. Today we're going to be using a zinc pH2, uh, double reed, and then a single reed, uh, zinc, NBD, and nothing but duck. So uh, basically, like we talked about, the quack is ah. just one single quack. Now a greeting call is putting those quacks together, usually in a cadence anywhere from, I've heard three, five, and seven is normally what people do. Uh, everyone's kind of got a different opinion, which is totally fine, um, but that's that's just kind of the normal. So basically how you're do doing the greeting call is you're basically doing uh, a few quacks together. Basically, so through the other side of the barrel, it's it's basically like that. Quack, 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 quack. So I'm gonna give you an idea what it is like on the toxic single reed and the pH2 double reed. So I'll start with the double reed. Here's single reed. So everyone does a little bit different. You can do either real loud or you could do real soft depending on kind of the area you're in. And that's the big thing about the greeting call is it it's perfect for a duck that's anywhere from 40 to 60 yards out. Uh, just getting their attention and kind of say, hey, come hang out with us. Um, there's a lot of different forms and fashions. You can go slower, you can go faster. But the big thing is, is in all these videos, you got to tailor them to your situation because, you know, everybody has a different sort of situation that they're kind of working into. And, you know, how you call in, say, like a small area of timber compared to a big lake is totally opposite from one another. So just keep that in mind as you go about your... Uh, is your hunting um, next thing we're gonna do is come back call it's basically a greeting call but it's it's stretched out so basically what you're doing is you're stretching out that call and getting louder in order to say hey come back so a lot of times you'll get uh, you know you do a greeting call like a quack or a feeder you know they the ducks come through give you a look come back by you're in front of you however you're set up at and you know that they're kind of interested but you know some educated ducks you know, won't necessarily give you just one pass come in. You know, duck hunting is not always that easy. So what you'll want to do is you want to wait till they are away from you and you, you want them, depending on especially where you're hiding out, if you're hiding out in, you know, open territory, um, you'll really want to wait until they're away and not looking at you because if they're looking at you, they're going to see your face, they're going to take off. So get their backs to you and there's nothing more beautiful than hitting a combat call and seeing these ducks turn and then come into your spread man it, it really changes your view of duck calling because you you think of duck calling as just an essential but yet it's more than just an essential it's really an art um, you know you can call ducks in but it's really an amazing thing to see someone who's a veteran caller turn ducks around to get them back into your spread you know especially ducks that you didn't think they would ever come in so basically your comeback call is just a longer version of what your greeting call is so this is kind of how it sounds you know through the back of a call all right so i'm gonna do it in both calls here double read and just like i said you know everybody has their different way of doing things shorter just kind of depends on what you got going on next thing we're going to stop into is the feeder so the feeder is the hardest thing to do uh, if you get the other two down uh, the feeder still takes a lot of time and effort um, especially as me you know even a couple years ago I couldn't do a feeder and I'd get so frustrated trying to get it down and you know it even took took times where I had to put my call down and say hey I'm just gonna relax because I'm, I'm getting frustrated so if you're frustrated if you're irritated just know that we've all been there. So be encouraged by that and know that it takes time and it takes muscle. So this is how you do the feeder, guys. Um, 
basically what you're going to do is you're going to say diga or ticka. I've heard it both ways. Um, it's really about getting your tongue to the tip of your mouth. So you're basically just flipping your tongue and pushing pressure through. Uh, it's one of the more, more advanced calls. And, you, you know, people who do it uh, great, you know, are fantastic at it. But don't get frustrated. Do the simple. Uh, what you want to start off is you want to start out in your vehicle, just trying it with your call. And you want to do digga, 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 digga. Once you get started with that, it's basically about muscle memory. So you get in your muscle memory and try doing a little bit faster each time. But don't get frustrated. The longer you do it, the more you do it, the better muscle memory you'll have. So, you know, after you get a few, get a little faster. And that's great. You get started doing a little bit faster. Next thing you know, you can do the full bledge. So you start a single, that'd be like a single duck eating and then you get a few ducks and then you get a whole lot of ducks doing it now once you start doing that you start throwing other calls in so you kind of get together so guys that's how we do a comeback call uh, right there you have the feeder a comeback call a quack Incorporate those all together. Next thing you know, you're full fledged artist, man. You got the duck call down. Hey guys, thanks for uh, watching my video. I hope I caught everything. Um, my camera died, so I came back. Um, if you haven't yet, check out the quack um, as well as my other video, how to choose your perfect perfect duck call. Uh, if you guys haven't yet, check us out on Instagram, Big Red Hunters. Uh, check us out on Facebook, Big Red Hunters, and we just started a Twitter. I think it's uh, BRH Outdoors. Thanks for checking us out and watch this video.